this is your first time i hope y'all had an amazing week and i hope y'all had an amazing weekend i'm gonna show you the dogs first because somebody commented on my last vlog and said that i never do that anymore so sit here they are mr juno and mr java being such good boys on this friday morning java's a little itchy okay but yeah i hope y'all had an amazing week and an amazing weekend it is friday morning right now i'm actually heading back to new york for another brand event thank god um god is like way too good but y'all i'm in like the middle of getting ready i actually slicked my hair last night uh, i just finished my edges and now i'm about to like finish my ponytail i'm actually gonna like flip it under like a little barbie pony and i'll show y'all how i do that and i'm gonna do a little bit of makeup right now um because my brand of it is later but like i want to put on a super cute outfit like during the daytime because i'm gonna go to the city grab some food and like shop around just it a little bit i think i'm gonna go to like a jewelry shop or something and i want my outfit outfit to be like super cute so i'm getting ready right now and i think i'm gonna just like shower before the event and like literally just wash my face off and just start over <laughs> with the makeup because i do want to wear makeup right now but i just like i also want my makeup to be like really fresh for later so i think i'm gonna do a super light natural look and then later i'll do a little bit more like on the dramatic side um but yeah, I don't know what else to catch y'all up on right now. I guess we can just chat throughout the vlog. I'm actually in a little bit of a hurry right now. So let's go ahead and go to the bathroom and finish my hair and makeup. And then eventually we'll get out of here. All right, so for the hair, it's the exact same thing I always do to slick it. If you want to watch, I have a tutorial up already. I will link it on this video. So same product, same steps. Because I actually ended up, sorry, the dog scratching his neck. I actually ended up washing my hair last night because my hair was like way too dirty for me to like slick it up into any different style. So I washed it, blow dried it, and then I straightened it with my Tymo um, brush, like my straightening brush, uh, just very roughly so I could have a very sleek ponytail. And then I went in section by section with my Gummy Professional and I just sleeked my hair. And then for the ponytail, same method. Um, I wrap my real hair with the neck strip and then I start at the bottom and work my way up with the uh, weft of hair. And then I just went ahead and blunt cut it and I did this little flip in it last night just so I can know where I wanted to stop at as far as length goes. And I ended up on a really good length. So now I'm about to just go ahead and finish the flip I put in it and we'll be good to go. So uh, I'm just going to go ahead and comb all this out and then I'm going to split my ponytail into two sections so it can be very, very precise when I go ahead and do my little... Um, my little flip i might as well just start over i might as well not even try to maintain this flip um let me see i was gonna just try to get this one good again all right i'm just gonna section this off and then i'm gonna start working with this piece i wish i had a barrel like curling iron so this could be a little bit more like just easier honestly if i had a curling iron i could just go ahead and curl it and it will hold itself but all i have is this one inch flat iron so i'm just going to take it bend my wrist and go really slow when i get toward the end and add a flip in it and then it should be good and flipped so i'm mainly focusing on the end here and just making sure it's very like well rounded and really like tight when I'm pulling my curling iron or flat iron. And then that's like the first 
this part can afford to be helped but like that's the first little flip i'll put in it and then i'll put one more flip a little bit higher after i do this one because i want it to be like really precise and really nice so i'm gonna go ahead and take all that hair again i'm gonna let it cool first so it can hold the next curl and then up this time i'm gonna start higher flipping so it can really just curl in on itself so i don't have i mean since i don't have a curl iron all right, time for the second flip. So this time, like I said, I'm gonna take the fly iron and then I'm just gonna start bending earlier in the hair than I did before. And then I'm gonna follow the same method, just kind of go like really slow and making sure I really have all that hair in there so it can all just kind of flip under. And then that's pretty much how I want it. So I'm gonna do that a couple more times and try to gather all the curls together since I don't have a curling iron, like I said. Um, it's going to be a little less precise, but it should be good at the end of the day. And then I, I like to just brush it and hold the curl while it cools so it can just kind of get in its shape. I do assume that I'll probably need to do this again later, so I'm not going to spend too much time doing this, honestly. Um, but it looks pretty good. I need her to do my makeup. It shouldn't take me too long. I'm going to turn this flat iron off and bring it with me. Okay, y'all. I'm actually wearing a skirt today, and I'm like, I'm gonna be so dainty and cute because I never wear skirts. Uh, I have like, I think this might be the only skirt I own, and I've owned it for a long time. But I just saw somebody yesterday on TikTok, and they had wore a skirt. By the way, this is the Elf Halo Glow, and I was like, girl, I have one skirt. Let me see if I can find an outfit with it. And sure enough, she could find an outfit with it. So I'm gonna wear it. Uh, I'm gonna put this out with a brush today. This is the Morphe MV102. The Vegan Blend blush brushes are really, really, really good, y'all. Like, they're so good. I want to do light on the makeup, but, like, ugh, like I hate washing my makeup off and starting over. And I normally don't do that, and I would keep my makeup all day, but I know later I would want a more of, like, a glam look. And right now, I just want more of a natural look. Because I don't want to, like, wear the same makeup all day long. Oh, my gosh. I didn't even tell y'all where I was going. Y'all, we're going to um, the Forever Mood launch with Jackie Ina. My agency invited me, and I feel so blessed. Because, like, fragrance is my thing, if you know. Uh, I'm obsessed with fragrance, and I love Forever Mood. So, to be able to go to the launch is, like, so exciting. And, like... <laughs> First of all, it's just surreal. Like, I get to go to Jackie Ina's launch, little old me. A year ago, I was trying to get a thousand subscribers on YouTube, and now there's 30,000 of you, and I'm going to Jackie Ina's fragrance launch with my agency. I'm part of an agency? <sighs> it's just insane. Um, this is the Hourglass Veil Skin Tint. I really, really like this product. It's really good. I'm not going to use too much because, like I said, I want a more natural look, and I want this to come off easy. A little later and I know I don't like to build on makeup like at all like if I were to keep my base and just kind of like add some blush and bronzer later I usually don't like to do that because my base don't be looking the same later in the day but I don't know that Charlotte Tilbury might help me so I'm like dang should I just do my whole base right now and just judge it up later um but I want to shower later also because like I'm gonna be walking around New York and New York is dirty and I'm not going to the forever mood launch with New York streets on me so I want to um, freshen up, like I want to shower for sure. And while I'm showering, I might always well wash my face, you know? The dilemma of being a girl is so interesting. But yeah, this is the Hourglass Veil Skin Tint. It is quite literally one of the most stunning products ever. Like it's so beautiful. But now I'm going to go with my NARS Radiant Creamy. Essence Keep Me Covered. This is Caramel. This is 70, number 70. Um, so... Actually, that wasn't number 70. That was number, I don't know, 90 or something like that. But this one is number 70. I'll have to do my NARS first. Oh, the Sephora sale's coming up too. We are going to do a little bit of shopping in New York tomorrow because uh, I'm staying. Unfortunately, I can only stay through tomorrow because um, my dog sitter was only available through tomorrow. So I do have to come back tomorrow instead of spending the whole weekend there. But that's A-OK -okay with me. 
as long as I get to go, to be honest with you. All right, I'm gonna let that dry down and I'm gonna set my lid with a little bit of Sephora Micro Smooth. Oh yeah, and I got my Charlotte Tilbury spray and I got my Milani bronzer, y'all. Dang, I'm gonna do a full look. I'm not gonna lie to you because I'm trying to use that bronzer. I'm just gonna set my lid with this. I really like using this to set my lid because it makes my lid like extra smooth. <laughs> And it's like almost the same or pretty much the same color as my skin so yeah um, i'm also trying to pack my makeup like as i go <sighs> i'm doing a lot right now what time is it it's 9 01 that's not bad i was supposed to drop the dogs off at 10 though so i don't think that's gonna happen but i'm gonna try my hardest all right top lash mascara is on that mascara is fire l'oreal telescopic lift It'll change your life um but i'm gonna go ahead and blend this concealer actually i want to do what i did last week last week i bronzed first um and then i blend my concealer out blended my concealer out so i'm gonna do that today i'm gonna use the winky Lux bronzer in santorini y'all this stuff is so, like shockingly like amazing so i just like to dot 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 whatever couple right here too so I can like blend in and then I'm just gonna um start to blend before it like dries out just blend that first and then I'll go in here and just kind of stipple it out um this bronzer is beautiful and the the blend is like insane it really just melts right into the skin to be honest with you like it's it's just stunning and now I'm gonna do the same thing to this side da 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 little bit right there like if you're a beginner and you wanted to get like get into bronzer i would recommend this one because it's just like so lightweight but the blend is so seamless and i didn't expect it to be this good like like this i'm gonna blend out my concealer with this real techniques brush this is the 402 also i'm giving y'all a tutorial right now because this is pretty much exactly what i'm gonna do later except for i think i'm a little wear a little bit more of the base product the hourglass um but I probably won't be on the camera later. I'll probably just be on live because more than likely I'll be rushing, if I'm be honest with you. Because um, I don't check in until 4 and the event starts at 6.30. So I'm going to spend, I imagine it's going to take like 30 minutes. I don't know how long it's really going to take. Bro, blending your concealer out after your bronzer is a game changer. Like, oh my gosh. But I imagine the check-in process is going to take like 20 minutes. I don't know, 30. So from 4.30 to 6.30, I'll get ready. I'll leave out at 6.30 and I'll get to the event probably at like 6.45 um, or maybe sooner. I'm not sure. It's from 6.30 to 10.30. I know I don't have to get there on time, but child, I'm trying to be one of the first ones. <laughs> and y'all know I just got me a fresh facelift to so I did my ponytail. My ponytail gonna snatch me up every time. Like it's just gonna be beautiful every single time. But yes, blending your concealer out with a brush after you do your bronzer is a game changer. All right, so I'm gonna try my Charlotte Tilbury um, powder right now. Instead of going in with a loose powder, I'm just gonna use this compact powder. I wanted it to like, actually, maybe I will use my one size and dust this over it afterward. Cause that's what I really bought it for. I don't know if people are using this to set their under eye like all together, like from the beginning. But they're going in with a, a um, loose powder first. So I'm gonna go in with my one size, just a little bit. I don't use a lot, very little bit. I'm gonna go with my one size first, and then I'll go in with the Charlotte Tilbury. Like when I say a little bit, I mean a little bit because I am a dry girl, but powder doesn't hurt um, if I go in with just a little bit. All right, now I'm gonna go in with the Charlotte Tilbury to um, brighten up the under eye just a little bit more, uh, cause it's not that bright, but I did buy a nice bright color in this powder, so it should be brightening um also i'm gonna save a little bit of this for like right after i do my blush because i bring my blush down too far sometimes um like in this area and that's really why i got the powder all right i'm just finished my bottom lash mascara but before i go on with blush i'm actually gonna set this with my charlotte silberry airbrush flawless setting spray i like to set at different points like Right before blush and then after blush obviously i'm gonna let that dry down and i'm trying to decide if i wanted to do the same blush color from last week the sweet berries or if i want to go in with just pink who's calling me oh my phone was ringing so i stopped the camera but it ended up being my like apartment people 
or whatever. Um, and they were just telling me that they got another noise complaint last night about the dogs. I didn't go anywhere last night. Like, I think somebody around here is like complaining a little bit about dogs when they're not my dogs. And fun fact, if you were on that live one time I was complaining about this happening before, they actually sent me a letter before and told me like, and named Juno specifically and were like, um, Juno barks this, that, another Juno, Juno, Juno. And I'm like, Juno doesn't bark. Now I can give you that it might be Java, but I don't, I'm getting a little irritated because in my hallway there's like six dogs and all of them are reactive. And Java only barks if he like sees a person. Like when he hears noise, he doesn't really bark um, when we're inside. So it's just getting uh, on my nerves a little bit. And I feel like they're kind of like <sighs> doing the most, if I'm being honest with you, about the dog situation. Because how can you be sure which dog it is if there's six dogs in the hallway that yap all day long? Like next to me, there's a beagle. On the other side, there's a schnauzer. And then there's a Yorkie and a Shih Tzu. And they bark like crazy. The freaking... um. Shows are waking up like every morning barking. So it's like, how can you be sure that it's my dog or my dogs, plural, or whatever, if there's like six dogs in the hallway? It's like, if you're calling me, you need to call everybody. And whoever's complaining is like, I understand the frustration of like being in a place um, and there's noise. But at the same time, I really don't because you signed up to live in a dog friendly apartment. And if you never wanted to hear dogs, you you probably shouldn't move into a dog friendly place so and i really doubt is anybody with dogs complaining because how does that work like how do you have a dog and you put in a noise complaint and your dog bark because every dog in this hallway barks like crazy i know juno don't bark like i said it could have been java but they definitely got the wrong one to talk about juno but yeah i'm like just irritated because there's no way you can be sure that it's my dog if there's six dogs in the hallway like it's just annoying like if if i'm getting calls everybody should be getting calls or they need to do some investigation because why am i the only one getting a call if there's six dogs um in the hallway but the blush is really pretty so i'm gonna go back in with my charlotte tilbury um powder right in here to br bring some more brightness into it um but i'm also going to use a little bit of my juvia's place volume four to set that blush Yo, know, I just get so frustrated because like they sent me that whole letter and now they call in my phone to talk about the dogs. But at a certain point, it's like, what are you gonna even be able to do? They're dogs. Like, you sign up to live in a dog for this place, and these are dogs. Like, what are you gonna do? Kick them out because the dogs make noise every once in a while? Like, they're dogs. And I would never complain about dogs like barking or anything like that because I understand that I live amongst other dogs, other people that live here. Like if you don't want noise, then you don't live in an apartment. But like I said, I understand the frustration that comes with it, but it's just of hearing noise, but it just gets annoying on my behalf because it's like, why are we complaining about something we signed up for? Makeup is all good to go, y'all. Um, it's 10 o'clock right now, so I do need to be heading out. I just filmed a little outfit, get ready with me, um, but I'm about to show y'all my outfit. So I can just get out of here because I, I freaking hate rushing. I'm not like in a rush. It's just my dog sitter wanted me to drop the dogs off at a certain time. Um, but yeah, let me show you my food. All right, so this is what we're looking like right now. My top is from H&M. It's so cute. It's like a knit sweater, so it'll keep me warm. The sleeves have this nice slit in it, and I think it's just adorable, y'all. This is the shirt I got last week. I think it was like $30 um but it's just so cute i added a new necklace to my lineup today it was the one from nordstrom rack last week same earrings same glasses obviously uh i do have on this skirt from zara it is extremely old y'all i normally don't wear skirts like i said this is the only skirt i own but i just think it's really cute and i thought it was really cool with this outfit i was inspired by somebody on tiktok i don't remember her name um but she just had on a skirt and i was like let me pull a skirt out and yeah i have on some brown tights and then my boots are actually from primark uh i never really wear them but i'm bringing them out today because i really like how they look with the skirt the silhouette is just really pretty uh, and then i'm wearing my tabby 12 from coach because it's just so adorable and i think it's perfect for this specific outfit i'm actually going to grab the crossbody also so i don't have to be bothered with carrying this in my camera today because the bag is really small but yeah i'm gonna grab my crossbody strap put this on and hold it like this for pictures probably but yeah um this is it so let's go have a good day in new york all right i just got the dogs to where they need to go and this is funny, but it's not funny. There was an earthquake. But it's only funny because I have no knowledge of an earthquake happening. I was at home getting ready. I was talking to my mom. 
a lot was happening this morning, y'all. I'm not even a lot. I walked the dogs. I ended up losing my debit card, but the leasing office f called me and told me that they found it. So I walked over there to get it. And then I was talking to her about the dog noise complaint thing, and just expressing my frustration about how there's no way they can guarantee it's Juno because there's like six dogs in my hallway. I didn't feel not one shake, not one quake. And my dog sitter was like, did you feel the earthquake? Did you feel the earthquake? I was like, girl, no. Like, I just found out it was an earthquake through her and somebody I'm texting right now. And I didn't feel not one quake of this earth. Like, I'm confused where I was at or what I was doing for me not to be able to feel a whole earthquake. Like, an earthquake strikes. It was, it's really the New Jersey area, but if you don't know, Philly is, like, extremely close to Jersey. Like, extremely close. So, apparently, it affected us and everybody felt it except for me. I don't know what I was doing, what I was focused on to where I didn't feel it was a 4.8 magnitude also so not insane but like how come I didn't feel the earthquake now I feel left out <laughs> not me mad because I didn't experience earth <laughs> okay y'all I'm leaving um Juno and Java sitter what I tell you a lot was happening this morning I mean a lot but I gotta get some gas too so it's it's a lot going on but let me get this gas and then I guess I'll see y'all in New York all right, y'all, I'm on my way there. I just wanted to hop back on camera because uh, I forgot to say some stuff. Like, girl, it's been a really busy morning. But anyways, um, I'm actually meeting Morgan. If you know Morgan, Morgan Plowers. <laughs> She's a uh, Philly content creator also. Um, and I don't know, God has blessed me so much with opportunity. And I always, I like to give back, as y'all know. I like to do giveaways and things like that. But I'm always constantly trying to think of other ways to support other creators that I see really making like motion, like really making it happen. Like, um, so you guys should definitely support Morgan. I'll put her out on the screen. But like I said, God has definitely blessed me with so much opportunity. And anytime I can like give, I want to. Um, I get a lot of event invites, especially in the city, because I'm considered a NYC content creator on my agency list. And I always am trying to think of a way to include somebody because God has not blessed me to not be a blessing onto others. You know what I mean? Like, I feel like that's the reason why I'm blessed. So I reached out to her and I asked her if she wanted to be on my, my plus one for this um, event this evening. And she said yes. So um, she's coming to the city with me. And I just feel like it's a really good opportunity, not only for her, but for me. Um, and I, I really want to incorporate this like plus one thing into my events moving forward um, with other content creators that I see really like on it like I just feel like that's such a good vibe and it's nice to just like share the opportunity if that makes any sense so um, yeah I know some other Philly content creators that I'll reach out to um, when more events come up if I'm allowed to have plus ones a lot of them you are allowed to have plus ones so it's really nice because um, you don't have to like feel by yourself all the time there's somebody there that you know there's somebody there that can help you get content because you know you want to get the content obviously but yeah I just thought it would be a good opportunity for the both of us um also to like start to build a friendship a little bit because I've known her online for quite a bit actually uh I remember her from a long time ago like when I first started sorry it's so loud I'm passing by some trucks but I remember her from a while ago when I first started and she has supported me this entire time I've supported her so I feel like it was just very fitting to invite her so yeah hopefully I can like continue to incorporate that into my life now I guess since I'm like picking up on brand events and brand trips and things like that so yeah I just wanted to give that little spiel and let y'all know who's gonna be meeting me there because then y'all get to meet Morgan and she's such a vibe she's such a good vibe like such a good vibe all right, y'all made it to the hotel. Um, this was like a really last minute booking and I'm not very familiar with New York, so I didn't, I didn't really know what I was getting myself into. That's not a disclaimer because it's nice, but I'm just talking about the area. Like New York is very interesting in that aspect. But anyways, I'll show y'all the room. Here's the bathroom here. Um, it's really cute, I'm not gonna lie. It's really nice and cute. I'm gonna go live here a little later and probably in the morning. Full body mirror, that's nice, that's lit. Hopefully there's a light over there for pictures and then here is the actual room it's pretty nice pretty cute it's a little bit bigger than like some of the other rooms i was looking at to be honest with you um plus this hotel had pretty good reviews but this is my view so yeah cute cool they're really nice here i can say that the hospitality is really amazing so far our room wasn't actually supposed to be ready for like another two hours um so it's nice to like 
check in early because we can leave our stuff like in our rooms instead of like with them which is what i would prefer but i'm about to go ahead and link up with morgan and then we're about to go get some food do a little activity and then come back and get ready all right the light's not amazing right here but i just went ahead and throw on this jacket because i don't really want to get cold uh, i do want some pictures in this outfit but i think i'll just take my jacket off when i get pictures this is a nice little jacket to have it's definitely warm but we're about to go get some tacos because we're both in the mood for tacos so let's do it and y'all can meet morgan <laughs> Y'all, this is Morgan. <laughs> you gotta say something. Hi, vlog. Um, I'm with the Alexis. Hello. <laughs> we're gonna get some tacos. Yeah. And um, we're gonna have a great time today. Period. And we're gonna take some pictures before I take off this outfit. And then we're gonna come back. I. It's 2.30 right now. I'm thinking we'll have ample time because that event is not over till 10.30. I, was, I don't know. What time do you want to get there? I'm gonna come come back, recap, rewind, shower, redo makeup. Maybe? Now I was gonna wash my whole face off, but it's really sitting. <laughs> it really is. Maybe I can redo it. I don't know. Like we can just base it off the time. Okay, then let's base it off the time. Tacos and like maybe a little, if not the bracelets, because I don't know how long it's gonna take. I would love to do it. Yeah. But if not that, maybe something else. I don't know. Yo, we came to a little Mexican spot. It's really cute. Like, it's really cute in here. It's got a skylight over there. I'm gonna move for some guac and tacos for sure. So I'm excited. Um, I mentioned this at night. This would be cute at night. This place had really good reviews too. Oh, the lighting is good. She's cute. One thing I like about a camera, it's gonna adjust to the light. It will. It will. Is that a Sony? Canon? Yeah. yeah. Or it's a Canon. I'm sorry, it's not a Sony. It always is funny. You can't miss the opportunity though. At all. <laughs> Alright, wait, I'm trying to go. Mm -hmm. It's like you're in it, I'm not. I'm gonna just put it right here. Yeah, no, okay. It smells strong. Good Lord. Oh, I just smell mine too. Okay. Cheers to the girls. We can. The girls here. <laughs> wait, wait, where's that room? Nini, Nini. Yeah, cheers to the. Oh wait, we should make a TikTok where we like, hold those viewers. <laughs> we should. Okay, let's do that. Cheers. Yeah. Espresso. <laughs> oh Lord. We about to get this party started, sure. and we're gonna stay in your friend's room. Cheers to the girls' weekend. Cheers, Let's get it come. You better watch those B words, Cheers. Mary. You better watch those, Cheers. or you end up over in the ocean. Cheers. To us. You're like, hold on. Way more. Three, four, I need to like, oh, it though. Such a good vibe. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> I'm finna say the exact thing. All right, y'all. Y'all, we just finished eating. It was really good, but I wish, mm -hmm. like, when I'm, like, stimulated, I don't eat a lot. I don't know what's wrong with me, but yeah. sometimes. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> when I'm stimulated, I be not. I don't be hungry. But this is my first meal today. I should have ate more, but whatever. Anyways, we were going to do the permanent bracelet, the permanent bracelet thing, but I don't think we have enough time because it's 4 o'clock right now. And we need ample time to get ready, mm -hmm. go live, mm -hmm. oh, get content all that stuff so i think we're just gonna go catch a quick little vibe i kind of want to walk to walk to the coach store but i just want some pictures in my outfit to be honest with you and then we're gonna head back to the hotel um <laughs> <She's making face. laughs> um but this is really good i'm excited to like walk around so a little bit because i didn't do that last time i was here so let's go that's cool Y'all, here's the coach store. We just took some pictures. There was fire. But look at the coach store. Look at the flag. Look at the flag. Look at the flag. Very, uh, I do too much, but I'm going to take a picture of this for my story. <laughs> I wanted a little chain for that pink bag I have. Isn't it adorable? <laughs> A little pink one and I'm kind of sick right now because I don't need it but I really want her <laughs> it's so cute 
or you would use this for something else. I was gonna put it on that little pink Joni. Oh, the one you just got, the new one. Mm -hmm. Cause I never bought a strap for it. That is very cute. Can you have it by yourself? That's what I was gonna I don't trust him anyway. You can't break the law with him. You're so good, she have a call night. Who does kill it left and right? Worst night. Y'all, they have like shoes down here and stuff. <gasps> no way. These are. They are cute. I love the bottom, actually. I'm getting these. They are cute. <laughs> Y'all, we hopped out of the Uber because it was taking too long. Like, it's 5 o'clock. So we just walking back, and it was only five minutes. But it's so funny because. On our Uber drive to the restaurant, the guy was telling us like, oh, this is where everybody be getting their little fake purses and stuff. <laughs> and I was like, oh my God, it is. And I just realized it. And on our little, we've been walking for what, two minutes to 30 seconds. We got like a million people coming to us like, you want a bag? Chanel? You want a bag? Chanel? Chanel, Gucci Louis? Tiffany? <laughs> we got it on. I said, it's because we black. Right. She was like, no, it's because we black. Because they're not asking nobody else. They're talking about everything they got on fake. So let's pitch it. Let's pitch it. <laughs> All right, y'all, uh, made it back to the room. It's 5 o'clock, 5.08, whatever. I'm about to go ahead and shower, wash my face, and redo it, because I'm just a girl. And I just want to do makeup on live with y'all. And like I said, I want a bit more of a dramatic look, because I know I'm going to be taking a lot of pictures, um, just in general. And some of my Disney family is going to be there. So, yeah, I'm excited. A lot of KG creators, but, um, yeah, I want a more of a full look, full glam. Full glam in my own way though, cause like not full glam, cause I don't do full glam, but like more full glam than this, even though this looks great. I'm doing exactly what I did earlier, just more coverage, more complexion, and obviously different outfit. So yeah, let me hurry up, shower, and then I'm gonna turn my camera back on when I get out. Y'all, I achieved the makeup look that I was going for and I'm very happy. I definitely look a little bit more full glam now. I'm very happy right now because I, a little moment i'm having a little moment i'm very nervous but i'm so elated right now because i get to be in these spaces with these people like god is so good my agency is so good y'all are so i don't want to cry but y'all are so good and the fact that god just keeps blessing me in every <laughs> every way i could have imagined it's just <sighs> i'm in awe but let me show you my outfit so we can go all right, the light is a little bad and I'm a little shaky because I'm nervous, but my top is so beautiful. It is from Mango. It has a nice like arm in and an arm out and then it has this beautiful tail on it. It's just so gorgeous. Um, Jeans are Zara, bag coach, can you tell I'm nervous? Bag coach uh, Tabby Risley and then my boots are also from Zara and the necklaces are really, hold on, let me just show you in this light. The necklaces are really just eating down. I also use my We The People body gloss. It's glossing. It's definitely glossing. Um, so let's go. Y'all, I'm in the lobby with Morgan. You ready? She ate. She didn't have to eat like this. Look at the color bag oh, in the shoes. She ate that up. We're both neutral, so I'm loving it. Yeah, I love it. Montage? Montage moms? Me. 
That this away from Easy now, no need to go down Easy now, no need to go down Rock that run that this away from Easy now, no need to go down Easy now, no need to go down Rock that run that this away from Get it to die, get it to die Da 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 Get it to die, get it to die Da 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 Get it to get it to get it to die Da 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 Get it to get it to get it to die
Y'all, that was, first of all, it was more than amazing. I'm gonna recap when I get back, but like we came to get some food real quick, but they're actually closing, so we have to take out. It is 10 o'clock at night right now. Um, we didn't really know what we wanted to do, like whether we were gonna sit down or what, but I wanted some vegan pizza so bad. So we came to this like love and dough place, but they're closing like I said, so they're gonna give it to us to go. And then we're actually gonna head back to the hotel. Um, but yeah, that, that was, I met so many people, like, and saw so many people. Jackie, I... And she's a celebrity. Y'all. No, you're any? a celebrity. No. <laughs> so many people. Any Clark, everybody, like, everybody. Everybody from every every East Coast. Every, every East Coast, Coast, Coast. Big time, yes. Crazy. But after this, we're gonna leave, or go back to the hotel, and then munch a little bit. Hey, y'all, good morning. It's now Saturday morning. It's around 8 a.m. right now. First of all, let me put some lip balm on because y'all not finna catch me. White lips on this cam. But y'all, I literally cannot believe yesterday. Like, first of all, I slept so hard because I was just so tired and I didn't realize how tired I was. I didn't realize how tired I was like until I went to bed. But I was out like a rock. Like, you know how when you're just exhausted and then you just like crash and you know you just slept so concretely hard? And you wake up feeling rocked like you don't even know what happened. That's kind of how I feel. But, um, yeah, I can't even believe yesterday. I didn't even do a recap for y'all when I got back to the hotel. It's too blue right here. I didn't even do a recap. But, y'all, I was just, I was on live with Morgan. We were eating pizza. It was fun. Oh, by the way, Morgan bought me a perfume. She got me a gift. Is this not so sweet? She got me YSL. Like, that's so sweet of her. But, yeah, I knocked out and now I'm here. I can't even believe last night happened. Like, it seems unreal. I got to meet any Clark. Those two were my favorite, some of my favorite creators of 2023. The fact that I got to meet them in person. Danessa Myricks was there. Freaking Jackie Ina. Aaliyah J. So many people were there that I'm not even, like, mentioning because I can't think right now. But the event was such a good time. It was, like, so luxury. Also, it was very intimate. It wasn't like a million people there. It was probably like 75. Yeah, like 75 people. Uh, and everybody I pretty much knew from the internet or at, like in real life. Um, I was so glad to see some of my fellow KG creators and then the Disney crew also, which a lot of more KG. So it was so nice to like meet everybody in person. Um, a couple new signs from KG, like with myself, along with myself were there. So I got to meet them and congratulate them on signing with KG. Um, man, I got to meet so many people and it's so crazy to walk into a room and people know who you are. Like, I know who a lot of people were. People were coming up to me like, hey, I love your content. Like that to me is, I don't know, it's shocking because I always separate myself and in my head I'm like so normal or whatever. I don't know how to explain it. Maybe you know what I'm talking about, but like, I'm one of them, you know what I mean? Like, people know me, and that's crazy. And, like, I know people. Like, I am on that level now, and it's so, like, crazy to think about because it happens so fast. But also, I just feel like me. I've always only felt... <laughs> I've always only felt like me. So it's like... I don't know. I'm not some, like, big famous person or whatever. But to be known is crazy. That's crazy. That's insane. From other people that know you, especially. I mean, from other people that you know, especially. It's crazy. Um, but yeah, it's Saturday morning and I'm so grateful I got to go to that. Hopefully many more in the future. I can really just feel God moving in my life. That was just really the kickstart. Q1 has been amazing. Shoot, Q2 has been off to a great start. It's just, it's incredible. It really is incredible to see my life unfold like this. And to God be all the glory. So I'm thanking him every step of the way. And I'm so glad that Morgan is here. Oh my goodness. She was just like such a, a comfort and feeling like being in that space with a bunch of people that you don't personally know. Well, I knew the personally, I personally knew the people from Disney, but yeah, having her around was just amazing. And she did amazing. Like she is a creator also, so she's amazing. But yeah, um, it's around 8 a.m. I'm about to go ahead and get dressed. I wanted to film a TikTok makeup tutorial talking about like the Sephora sale and my favorites and like just whatever, chit chatting. Cause yeah, I want to. So I'm doing that for TikTok in a minute. And then I'm going to come back and show you my outfit and everything. 
we're gonna do the same makeup I did for y'all yesterday morning so it should be good um as far as this camera goes I'm gonna leave it to charge for a little bit and then I'm gonna pack up my room and stuff because I'm actually leaving today um I don't know if I told y'all but I was gonna leave tomorrow but I only had a sitter through today and then we're gonna go shop the Sephora sale get some permanent bracelets uh, I might try to get some lunch before I leave out of here honestly time is moving like extra fast so we gonna see and Morgan has a Pilates class at like 145 I believe so she has to leave at 145 um <clears throat> so we'll do that and then whatever random stuff I see like while I'm walking past I also need to get some pictures I'm gonna show you my outfit right now because it's like ready to go Ooh, wait. so that top is um from H&M I'm wearing my forever mood fragrance these jeans are mango, a trench coat, coach bag, and sambas for me today because these are the only shoes that I bought. <laughs> but they usually go with everything, so I should be cool. If they don't, then whatever. I guess we have to reevaluate. I got some backup options too. I got an Aritzia shirt, some other jeans from Zara, two Aritzia shirts actually. So yeah, we can reevaluate if this don't work. But this is a fit for now, and let me go ahead and do this makeup. All right, my makeup is done and it's sitting, it's eating. I filmed a TikTok tutorial. I don't know when it's gonna be up, low key, because I have a lot of content. I need to post this reel from yesterday before I went to the event, like right now on TikTok and Instagram. But it'll be up soon. Probably by Tuesday, uh, by the time y'all see this. So you should watch it if you want. Um, but let me go ahead and pack my bag and then I'm gonna show y'all my outfit. Um, and then I guess we're off. All right, so the tag is still on my jeans. So let's ignore that until I find some scissors or something to cut it off. Um, but we didn't really talk about the fragrances. So there's four of them, y'all. They all are very, very, very different. Um, my personal favorites are You Remind Me and NDA. And like, since I had to choose one last night, I chose You Remind Me because it's just such a clean scent. And clean scents are just right up my alley. Like, I'm such a clean scent type of girl. Um, so that one just was screaming my name. I don't hear people talking about that one enough. I mean, they're talking about all of them, but everybody's saying the yellow one and the pink ones are their favorite, which those smell incredible also. But you remind me, it's just so clean and just, it's just beautiful. And I don't have anything like it. Like the notes are so, the notes are familiar, but like how they come together is so like unique, um, I believe. I'm also like, I'm definitely not a fragrance kind of sore, but y'all know how much I love fragrance. Like fragrance is just my jam. Um, so to be invited to that event was just like the kickstart of something amazing. Like, I don't know, it was just incredible to be there and I'm just obsessed with fragrance like all together so I'm just grateful to be honest with you I'm trying to figure out how I have so much stuff if I was only here for a night like how did this even happen I don't really know to be honest but I'm gonna try to make this work because how did I even get here all this stuff <sighs> I'm a good suitcase packer though so I believe myself oh I also have this shirt if this if this don't work out but I kind of do like what I'm wearing right now I bought some backups so I can absolutely have some things to wear just in case it got a little icky, a little sticky. I don't know, but I'm probably going to get some pictures in the shirt I got. Oh, yeah, I bought a lot of backup stuff. That's why I have so much stuff in here, all these backup outfits. But I had a really good time. I love this little, like, I love mini staycations. Like, I'm not far from home, um, but I definitely didn't want to travel back home because it was just too late after the event for me to drive an hour and a half two hours to get back home so i'm very glad i stayed i put my jewelry in this little box here so i'm just gonna throw the pieces that i'm not wearing in here along with like any other like little bit or bop um i'll put that in here and then i also need to get out my Madagascar vanilla oil because I like to wear this a lot like it's just so good I'm gonna rub this in and then I am gonna wear you remind me today but I might mix it with like a little Joe Malone or something like that I'll do that in a second though I'm gonna put all my perfume back in this bag the new YSL from Morgan I'm gonna take it out of the box so I can save some space and then I'll get rid of that my little coach bag oh maybe I should wear this today it's between that one and that one, so I'll leave them out. I'll zip that. I'll put my purses in this suitcase. I bought my little pink Joni because I didn't know what I was going to wear. You know, backup options. So, you got to be prepared at all times, okay? Like, at all times. Put these little bips and bobs in. I'll 
put this key here. I have to leave my luggage with the hotel, so um, I just want to make sure like everything's secure and nothing's like in my little bag that I like carry because I don't want people snooping. If you're going to snoop, you're going to have to undo this whole thing and maybe somebody will catch you by the time you undo it all. Oh, also the We The People body gloss is so good. I put it like on my arm that was out last night and y'all, it made me so soft. I need to decide which coach bag I'm going to wear because I need to put the other one in the suitcase. So I'm going to do that right now before I zip this up so I can leave some room. There's that. I'm going to toss my forever move box also, but low-key, no, low-key I'm keeping it because it's going to remind me of the time I was here, baby. I'm keeping that. Got my coach sandals right here. Did I even show y'all the sandals? I don't even think I showed y'all the sandals. Let me show you real quick. I feel like I was just moving around so much that I never really showed y'all what I got from Coach. Here, let me put this here. And show my girls. Boom, hopefully they don't fall. I really saw black, I mean, I saw black and white, but I really wanted black because they're just so versatile. The white was cute, but I feel like it was limiting my like wear amount. And I'm trying to get some good wear out of these. Like, these are really, 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 really cute. The camera fell. I don't know what damage it did, but these are so cute. I feel like I'm gonna be able to wear them and they're very comfortable. Um, the price point was a little iffy for me. Like, I feel like they should be like 150. They were like 212, 215, somewhere around there. Now, since like for the price, I'm gonna wear them like a lot. That's why I got black, cause I know I wanted to wear them. I was looking for a nice chunky dad sandal for the summer anyways. So that's those, but let me put this back over here before it falls again. Well, this is my full fit the camera's pretty far so i can't very much see so hopefully you can see hopefully everything's in frame but my trench coat oh, let me tuck these little strings in actually i should cut those off i hate those stupid little strings that you like hang them up with whatever uh trench is primark this one's out too sure is h&m like i said ten dollars jeans are mango and then i'm wearing my sambas because they're just so like sporty and cute and they go with the outfit so well they go with everything so well i had to add a little cuff in my jean because um, they're too long for me, but I like the length. And then I went ahead and chose the uh, Tabby 20 today, just because it can fit a little bit more. And if I need to put it on crossbody, that's fine. And then I went ahead and just like bought the sleeves of the shirt out of the trench coat, just for some extra detailing. I really like it and I love my ponytail with it. A ponytail is like probably my favorite hairstyle, I'm not gonna lie to y'all. It's amazing, but yeah, let's go shopping. Y'all, I made it downstairs, we checked out. Morgan's here in a cute little coat. <laughs> Um, we're about to go to Sephora right now uh, to check out what they have. I do have a list of all my Sephora things, so hopefully they have everything on my list. My list's not long. I might get some more stuff like while I'm there, just impromptu. But yeah, let's go to Sephora. I think our Uber, he's 50 feet away, so let's do it. Oh, they have the milk. Oh, over to you. Where? Holy crap! Oh my gosh. Y'all, here's Sephora. We got Abercrombie, we got Mango and Aritzia. Stop playing and milk makeup down there. Oh, this is heavy. Oh, wait. All right, we're inside, y'all. This Sephora is pretty darn big. I know I want some Makeup Forever lip liner, some other stuff on my list. Here go my list, y'all. Huda Concealer, Say Concealer, the Milk Spray, uh, Bright Prince Powder. I actually already got that, so I can check that off the list. Say Bronzer. Lip Glowy Balm, Balm and Vanilla because they make it in a tube now. And then the Makeup Forever Lip Liner I also want. I don't need none from Charlotte. I don't think. I don't need none from Fenty. Fenty. Bro, this store is huge. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, it's literally amazingly large. Makeup on Mario. Ain't nobody in here to help. But the store is so big that they really probably can't. Oh, let me get a basket.
All right, y'all. So they have a denim vest and matching denim pants. It's going to switch. And it's giving, take my one from Aritzia back and wear this together because I was looking for the matching pants to the Aritzia one. And my Aritzia one still got the tag on it. And this was only $60. But regardless, I'm going to get the pants because they're so cute. I'm going to put this vest on real quick to see what it's hitting on. Because this one's kind of baggy. Smell this one. Oh, that smells good. It kind of gives unisex. It does definitely give unisex. Turn it on. If anything, if I have it online, I can see if I oh, can yeah. place an order. Okay. This one's a little baggier. I would have to wear something under it. I kind of like it open since it's so much bigger. Yeah. With a white collar shirt up under it with these jeans. Oh, it's not in the school. Probably not. All right, out of mango, I ended up with the jeans only because when I tried on the vest, it came down too far to wear with the jeans and I would wear them together because they're the same wash. I'm crossing my fingers that the jeans actually match with the denim vest from Aritzia. Um, but we'll see when I get home. But regardless, those jeans were never getting left in the store. Oh, let's cross with them. But we're about to go to Aritzia right now. Oh, wait, can oh, we do that? Yeah. Girl, no, I'm scared of these streets. But y'all, we're in the Adidas store now. Turns out that Aritzia wasn't even an Aritzia. They have a different one, but it was too far down, so I didn't want to walk. But we're at the Adidas store to see if I can find some green sambas. I think Morgan wants some too, I'm not sure. After this, we're gonna eat, and then I'm getting out of this city, okay? Some red sambas. I'm gonna leave that right there. I also found these green gazelles, which I like, but I really want green sambas, not gazelles. So I'm gonna get the red today. But just a little pop of color. I think these are really cute. So cute. It's so cute. Oh, it's so cute. I just Google searched it because you have vegan options, right? And I am dairy free, so I just did a Google search. I love that. I love that so much. back home the drive was like so short i was able to get my dog thing back home at a where the other one at he was just here hey javi there he is say hi say we had oh oh say we had a good night we slept over we had a good staycation huh yes you guys had a good you want to see what i got java but yeah, y'all, I was able to make it back like pretty quickly. Um, so yeah, we're at home. All I need to worry about now is dinner. Still pretty early. It's not bad at all. Um, I'm not cooking for certain. Like I'm exhausted. But I was wondering. No, I'll go to the grocery store tomorrow. We'll do the grocery store tomorrow. I, I want to make some short rib again, but not tonight. We'll do it tomorrow. Um, but yeah, y'all, I got the jeans from Mango, the Sambas. There's food in there. I need to get that out. Um, 
the coach sandals and then I didn't show you what I got from Sephora so I will do that because I just I, I think I'm gonna go live just to catch up on the weekend because I normally am live on Saturdays and I haven't talked to anybody today so I got the um milk hydro grip um well it's a setting spray but I see Tony Bravo use this as like a prep spray so that's how I'm gonna use mine I got the makeup forever liner because everybody's talking about the makeup forever liner so I got it in um or limitless brown <laughs> uh i got a refill of my nars radiant creamy in caramel specifically caramel a bunch of samples because the guy me and the guy was vibing the huda beauty cherry blossom well i suppose it's just a color corrector but like for the under eye for the under eye i see people using it on their under eye like to like give you that pink makeup look you know what i'm talking about and then you take the pink blush and it just is seamless so I'm gonna try that out. I got the say Sun Melt Bronzer in Tan. Hopefully that is the right shade. And then I picked up the say what is it? Slip Tint um Radiant All Over Concealer. This felt so good, like when I put it on my hand. So I think I'm gonna like that one a lot. I might go back for a couple other shades, but I got the shade 13. So that was it from Sephora today. I'm really about to go live so I can ask y'all what y'all got from the Sephora stuff so I can go back tomorrow. Um, so tomorrow it'll probably be like the grocery store in Sephora. But yeah, I also need to try these, um, the rest of these donuts. I bit like one of everything except for the, um, the lemon blueberry cake. I'm about to eat that and see what it's tasting like. Hi, little man. I miss you guys so much. I had to hop back on here because look at this. Dermalogica sent me PR, but look how big it is. I don't know it's just hilariously huge i think it's so cute though but it came with bubble wrap so i'm like sitting here trying to get the dogs hold on i'll show you what's in here first before i show you what i'm doing with the dog i can't open it with two hands i mean with one hand it's hilariously huge but it's adorable um this is definitely the biggest pr i've ever gotten there's some microfoliant in there and then I, I believe you can make a mask with the microfoliant so that's really cool but i have to show you what I'm doing with the dogs. I'm trying to get them to play with the bubble wrap. I'm not gonna do it unsupervised before y'all come to comment someone. Bubble wrap is toxic. You try it. Look. You try it, Juno. Try it. Oh, it's so nice. Now you turn. now sunday morning nope whoa that's crazy it's three o'clock morning is wild but um yeah it's sunday now and i didn't film anything this morning i kind of just um did a little bit of spot cleaning on the countertops and then uh, i did go live and try out some new makeup that i got from sephora yesterday i actually really like the huda beauty um cherry blossom faux filter color correcting like I don't really know if it's a concealer or if it's a color corrector. I believe it's a color corrector, but I mixed it in with my concealer for under the eye and it gave me this nice, pretty, like, pink under eye. And I think it's beautiful. And then I used my one size uh, ultra pink setting spray. Sorry, powder. Girl, I made a, I just made a video of, like, my current makeup favorites. So um, y'all can watch that on TikTok also. But yeah, I've been in my content bag. I've been making and uploading so much content, but I just wanted to get on here and say hey to y'all. Um... We'll do a little bit of spend the day together today. I'm actually about to run a Sephora, take back the Say concealer because I didn't like it. I use it on my under eye. And granted, my under eye doesn't look bad, but it doesn't look as good as it normally would. So I'm going to take it back because uh, I don't need it if it's not going to be like a good product for me personally. Um, and instead, I'm going to get the Danessa Myricks like balm, blurring balm, something like that. It's like skincare, um, that one, not the, not the complexion one. And then I need to run to Regmans to get grab some dinner because I'm gonna braid some more short rib, which I'm like short on time if I'm gonna eat like at a reasonable time because braising them takes a while. But um, after that, I do need to run to Home Goods. Well, I don't need to, but I kind of want to because I want a new makeup organizer and I want a new perfume organizer because I have too many products now. I'm trying to like just jam them into a place, and all my perfumes are kind of just sitting on the like next to the organizer because none of them will fit anymore. Um, 
and that's it and then we'll come back home but before i leave i need to put y'all on real quick because i just made a video no i was on live and somebody i was trying to use my you remind me from forever mood the fragrance and i was trying to figure out what to mix with it and somebody was like mix something floral with it and i was you know i don't really have anything floral but the only i got like two floral note perfumes because i'm not a floral type of girl um the only two is one from zara which probably will pair well with the forever mood but amber vanilla was the second one that i thought of because it has that um like peony in it i believe um, but it does have a few floral notes and i'm not huge on floral but amber vanilla is so soft and gentle and vanilla-y but a little bit of floral in there so i went ahead and mixed the two together and when i tell you i unlocked a new code i mean it. i have transcended uh like i'm about to show y'all because i don't think nobody's understanding all right i have them both as you all know i'm very big on fragrance like i'm very passionate about fragrance um so they're both in my hands right now but you remind me from forever mood which i know is a little bit hard to get right now and there is one call hard to get so no pun intended but i know it's like sold out so try your best <laughs> but if you already have amber vanilla and you were thinking about getting this one or all four from jackie or whatever if you can get your hands on both of these you have to trust me i have unlocked a new code these smell so good the floral notes in both of them complement each other so well. This one is so soft and gentle. So is this one though. But this one has musk in it and this one does not. So that, like, I feel like the musk in this one just really complements the amber vanilla. Like I said, the floral scents in both. And then the vanilla in this one is just intertwining in this so well. Like, they smell so good and it's just so dynamic. I don't have anything like this. It's amazing. But putting this with it is just so me. And it's like... I don't know like i've never smelled anything like what i'm smelling right now the two together are absolutely amazing um so i'm looking forward to seeing how i can continue to wear this but i'm very much obsessed with this even alone but yeah i'm gonna show you my outfit and then we're gonna run these little errands and then eventually come back home and get to it all right so my red top is from amazon it's linked in my storefront it's the pumi brand it is double lined and it feels really good and really soft my sweater is from Princess Polly. The sweater is linked in my LTK if you want it. And then I'm wearing this bag from Marshalls today because I haven't worn it in a while. My little soccer mom bag. I love this little woven Bottega dupe. It's so pretty. And then I have on some jeans from Zara. No ripping my jeans today. And then I'm wearing the red Sambas that I picked up yesterday in New York. So the little brown bottom goes really well with my bag. So yeah, I feel like that's really, really, really cute. But this is the fit. So let's do these errands and come back home. The light's not great. I'm on the phone with Noah at the same time. Uh, I just got to Sephora. Noah, say something. Say something. Say hi. Hi. Aw. You're so cute. Hi, people. Hi, people. Hi, people. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I'm just here to take back that concealer and um, hey, get that Danessa Myricks balm. And then I think hi, I'm people. leaving, to be hi, honest. Hi, people. Hi, people. Say hi, girls. Hi, hi girls. Hi girls. Hi beautiful girls. Hi beautiful girls. Say hi beautiful girls. Hi beautiful girls. <laughs> You're funny. Y'all know I'm a DIY queen, but I don't know nothing about cars. And the um the tire pressure light just came on, and the car is like, hey, please put some air in your tire. It don't even seem low. It's at like 35, so I don't understand how that's low, but. I don't know how to put air in a tire. I've never done that. I am just a girl. I can do a lot like DIY stuff, but I've never put air in a tire. So we might have to stop and get some air, <laughs> but I don't know how to put it in there. I guess, I mean, I'm about to call my dad to see what he say, um, but I can also look up a YouTube tutorial or something, but I don't want to put air in a tire. So I think I'm gonna stop at a place with some men so they can put it in the tire. But like low key, I feel like I can make it back home, but I got work, so I should probably get the air. But anyways, so far as here, let's go. So it turns out the ones with the pigment and the one I'm talking about is like the same thing, but the universal one is the one that everybody's using to like prep the skin. So this is it, Blurring Balm Powder, but I'm not gonna get one with pigment. I'm gonna get one um, just the clear universal shade so I can prep the skin. So I just made it to Home Sense because I wanted to see what kind of like makeup and like perfume organizers they have. Um, in here because i know home goods the home goods by me don't really be having none but they always be having a lot i haven't been here in so long i feel like we haven't shopped for the house in so long i've really just been buying like a lot of clothes and shoes which is fine but like i'm not in my moving era no more like my house is fully decorated like we don't really need anything but we low-key i do low-key need a six drawer dresser for the room because i'm running out of space to put clothes into that one closet and i'm not really trying to take clothes into that other closet 
So when I get back, I do need to look online for like a six drawer dresser to like go underneath my TV because that was something I was supposed to do already. I just never looked for real. But yeah, I like Home Sense for like organizers and stuff. But if they don't have any, I can always double check Home Goods. But I was gonna go to Home Goods because I need a dog bed for a jobless crate, like a crate liner. Um, Cause the other one I had to throw out, but let's go in here and see what they got. All right, since I'm braising short rib, I had the idea of getting a larger Dutch oven because my current Dutch oven only can fit like three at a time when I'm searing them off. And I know they have really good ones in here. So I'm about to go grab, or hopefully I can find one, but I'm gonna grab one if they do have some. Look how cute this Dutch oven is. It's literally only $40, it's black. I don't like gold, but I'm gonna get this one because I like black. I think I'm gonna get this like little tote thing here just to throw some more products in this has a lid that you can just open and close and then that for brushes i have that one already and that's pretty much all i have but i'm not trying to get the same one i think this will work to be honest with you i just need to store the stuff like under my sink um how it is just not in the bottom of the sink like in that container um they don't have dog stuff in here but i'm leaving i don't know if i'm going home goods anymore i don't really feel like it. i'm trying to just go to the grocery store and get home <laughs> brush and the number 93 brush i only got them because they were 30 percent off all sephora sale collect all sephora collection stuff otherwise sephora brushes are too expensive and not worth it like you can go get a morphe brush for like 19 to 20 bucks like the really high-end ones or you can get one for like eight to twelve dollars six even six dollars even so they're usually not my ministry but <laughs> they're on sale so uh, I just got these specifically for bronzer, honestly. This one's for cream bronzer and this one's for powder bronzer. And I have like a favorite br uh, blush brush. It's the Real Techniques number, I wanna say 400. Yeah, these are really good for blush. And uh, my Sephora Micro Smooth, cause I just kinda take it all over my face and they're like really big. Right, y'all my dinner is still on i just wanted to close up the vlog because i um it's gonna be another few hours before that's done and i don't want to wait because i'm gonna get lazy and i want to start editing like in the meantime while it's cooking to be honest with you so yeah i hope y'all very much enjoyed the vlog i hope y'all i'm laughing at them <laughs> i hope y'all had an amazing weekend an amazing weekend i'm gonna keep continue to keep you all uplifted in my prayers and Again, I know y'all know that I appreciate you all, but I am so great, bro. You're ruining it. 
I appreciate y'all so much, y'all. <laughs> Y'all have no idea how much y'all all mean to me. Um, I don't know. I've been on a little bit of a journey since starting this. And it all is kind of just like flourishing and turning into something that I never really truly imagined. But I'm so grateful for it. I want to continue to cultivate the community. Continue to build upon what I've already built. And I'm praying that God continues to bless me and bless all of y'all. And yeah, until next time. I'll see y'all. Bye.